On paper, the Russian T-95 main battle tank had it all. It boasted a big and powerful gun with a remote control turret. There was an auto-load feature and better armor, but only a few prototypes were built, and they never made it to mass production. The T-95 was just too advanced and ahead of its time to be made in greater numbers. The first feature was improving the main gun. The T-95 had a 152mm smoothbore model, more powerful than the gun on the American M1 Abrams and other Allied tanks. That gun could fire all the modern, high-powered rounds you would expect from a new tank. So many of the best design characteristics were integrated into the T-14 Armada. The T-95 had something of a complicated history, and that did not help its future. It started in 1988 and the program took years to hit its stride. The Soviets wanted to overawe NATO opponents on the battlefield with a super tank. 